If there is one symbol that is firmly linked with Halloween, it has to be the jack-o'-lantern. One of the oldest traditions of the holiday, everyone who celebrates it can remember the joy they got as they sat down to carve a frightening face into that orange gourd. But where did the tradition of the jack-o'-lantern come from? Who was Jack, and how did he become the face of Halloween? There was once a mean and angry blacksmith named Jack. He was not a pleasant person and never liked to spend his own money, either to help the poor or to even buy his own drinks at the pub, earning him the nickname of Stingy Jack. One day, Stingy Jack ended up crossing paths with the devil. As is often the case, the devil was looking to capture another soul for hell, and he had his sights set on Stingy Jack. Jack and the devil went to the pub for a drink, and Jack convinced the devil to pay for his drinks in exchange for his soul. The devil was happy to oblige, and turned himself into a coin. Of course, the devil wasn't counting on Stingy Jack being so stingy, and instead of paying his tab, Jack kept the coin and put it in his pocket next to his crucifix. Being next to the crucifix prevented the devil from turning back into his true form, and he was stuck as a coin. Jack was then able to make a deal with the devil that he would free the devil in exchange for leaving him alone for a year and not collecting his soul if he died. The devil agreed, and Jack set him free. After one year, the devil came back to try and collect on the man who had outwitted him. Stingy Jack saw the devil coming towards him and quickly climbed a tree. He taunted the devil, saying that if the devil could climb the tree and get him, then Jack would go with him. The devil climbed up after Jack, but Jack quickly jumped down from the tree and carved a cross in the tree's trunk. Once again, the devil was stuck. Jack makes a new deal with the devil. He asks the devil to leave him alone for 10 years this time, with the same rule that if he dies, the devil will not take his soul. The devil agrees and Stingy Jack removes the cross, allowing the devil to escape. Before the ten years are up, Jack dies. As he is standing in front of heaven, St. Peter tells him that he has lived a poor life and won't let Jack through the gates. Jack is sent to the gates of hell. Once he gets there, the devil greets him, but won't let him enter. After all, he made a deal with Jack. Instead, Jack is forced to wander the earth at night with nothing but a lantern to light his way. In another version of the legend, Jack shows pity on a sick man and nurses him back to health. The man reveals himself to be an angel and offers Jack three wishes as thanks for his aid. Jack wishes that anyone who sits in his chair, touches his tools, or breaks his tree would be stuck in place until Jack releases them. Despite this act of charity, Stingy Jack is still not a good man, so the devil sends a demon to collect him. Jack welcomes the demon in and offers it a seat. Once the demon sits in Jack's chair, it is stuck and Jack spends the rest of the day beating the demon until it agrees to leave Jack alone. Later, another demon is sent to collect Jack's soul and Stingy Jack says that he cannot go until he fixes his shoes. He asks the demon to hand him a tool from his box to make the repairs and the demon is stuck. Once again, Jack beats the demon until it too agrees to leave. Finally, the devil himself comes up to gather Jack and punches Jack's tree to get his attention. The devil is stuck and Jack whips the devil for three days until the devil agrees that he will not take Jack to hell. Again, Jack dies soon after and is refused entry to both heaven for his actions and hell for his bargain. At length Jack died, and when his soul from his body riven, it could not go through hell's wide gates, nor yet through those of heaven. By his free choice he lost the last, and Sane did not fail his oath to keep, and Jack to sweep, from hell's gates with his flail. Then, since Jack is unfit for heaven, and hell won't give him room, his ghost is forced to walk the earth, until the day of doom. A lantern in his hands he bears, the way by night to show, and from its flame he got his name of Jack O'Lantern now. Like Halloween itself, the Jack O'Lantern started in Ireland. There, the Irish would use turnips or rutabagas to light their doorways and scare off evil spirits. 
When the Irish came to the Americas, they found the pumpkin to be a good substitute and switched to it. Over the years, however, the story of Jack of the Lantern stopped getting passed down. So what do you think? Is Jack a cheap but crafty man who outwits the devil? Or did he use his one good deed to trap and beat demons? Regardless of what myth you prefer, think of poor Jack of the Lantern as you set your pumpkin out tonight. I'm Steel Stash, and I'll see you next episode. Toodles.